next question is actually how do you maintain balance between say board exams and competitive exams many times they occur at almost the same time so how do you yeah, 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 yeah. how do you maintain the balance yeah so it happens i uh, mean every year that we are just giving the exam and after one month there is jee advance so the boards they just break up the flow that we are just studying advance advance and suddenly we have to study ncert we have to write subjective questions so it means quite disturb our study plan a lot so i would say that first of all you should consider your level at what level you are and uh, in, in the 12th class not uh, means 12th class there are boards so in 12th class in the beginning only for example you have covered electrostatics so you should go home uh, take a look at ncert and try to write down the questions previous year questions okay. how much able you are how much you are able to write after reading the ncert if you feel you are comfortable with uh, then you should do this simple thing only that you should after completing every topic you should go home and take a look at previous year questions so uh, just to create that uh, just to understand the level of the cbsc and what they are expecting from you they are not just expecting that you would tick in the exam and you will get 5 out of 5 marks you have to write down a lot you have to explain you have to be within the word limits uh, and if you are feeling that you are not comfortable with uh, at that you have not not reached till the ncert level question paper then i think you should just study ncert books uh, then you should uh, means a uh, quite daily I mean, daily you should try to practice a uh, much more difficult problems so as to raise your level first you should reach to the board level then you should uh, move to the competitive exam okay very nice yeah. sure and uh, uh, in the hc verma sir's book you know again it is uh, i think broken down into two parts there are two books how it is best leveraged for cracking chi in your opinion uh, so i think for example uh, you are studying from iit pal for example consider you have uh, watched a video of a prof teaching for example laws of motion or vector you say that you have studied vector because in physics we first teach vector only so after uh, studying the vector you should go through the hv sir books hv book and you should try to mark mark what you have learned from the book only uh, and you should try to read the books at least two to three times because uh, during the first time it happens that we leave certain section or we are unable to grasp the concept because but after reading two to three times uh, uh, first of all uh, that topic will uh, completely get in, into your head and second of you will learn quite new things from the reading only so i think after every topic you should do this for example in vector you have learned about the vector laws uh, vector laws how vector are added how they are subtracted so you should go the same day at your home and the, read the same topic from okay. the hcv book right same happens for coaching when somebody has come down from coaching yeah same, so same thing and... happen at the coaching so you should come back and go through hcv verma's self books yeah 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 yes sir very nice 